if that when people first come to you, Katie, there's a huge amount of information there. But the first thing I would suggest people do is that they go and go on to www.ucadia.com and they read Journey of UCA. So they read that first. And then once they've read that, then I would have a look at the patents that are listed there on Ucadia. And once you've done that, then I'd go and read the first uh, five uh, books of canon law. Now, once you've done that, I think you've, you, if you've done that, it's going to take you quite a bit of time. It'll take at least a, a few weeks. And once you've read that, I think it'll give you a good appraisal. And then I would read The Covenant and One Heaven, and I'd go and look at some of the other sites. So that's what I would do. Um, okay, I'm going to get on to East Pennsylvania now, and uh, here we go. East Pennsylvania, can you hear us? Diggle, yes, how are you doing? I'm going well. Um, okay, I, I'm, I'm actually going to send stuff to Ron and have him uh, send it to you and uh, Greg and Jeff. Uh, um, I'm not quite sure of his name. The other gentleman which is helping with the uh, Canon Law. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is, is Matt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what it is is basically uh, it's a forum where we can work and uh, – this will, uh, well, what I like to see happen is a few of us get together and also uh, put a form like similar to this and agreements like they did. You'll you'll see when it comes through. What it what it is is basically uh, it, it's from the people which do the UFOs, but they agree they agree to and what they're doing is saying um, recognizing that you know their right to to the information. Yep. Okay. Now we're, we're we're different, but still we're the same in the same you know as far as as it goes. It's just an agreement, and then not only that, but also have at least the two gentlemen which are in this video um, come in also, which is not an impossibility. Right. And just instead of trying to you know join things, just have everybody just understand, and we can grow that way. Well, I think we, I think it's. Yeah, I think it's very, very important. I mean, one of the things we uh, we raised and uh, with Darwin Bourne, who, who spoke earlier, was this this question of how to deal with things at a council and a community and a tribe and a and a, and a nation level. And yeah. I think, yeah, because it takes a long time for people to get their head around what we're doing, and and not everyone has, no one's on the same page, and. Uh, but if enough people in a community are willing to move forward and they represent uh, some kind of mandate by virtue of, of who and what they are, then absolutely one of the strengths that we must do is lay the foundation where we have, I hate the word treaty because the word, you hear the word treaty and in, 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 in reality the word treaty is a one-way agreement. It was, it was never an equal agreement, treaties. But what we're saying is... Uh, uh, com covenants and pacts, uh, these kind of things between groups sets the groundwork for international law. And in their system, once you have, for example, the uh, groups in Australia forming formal agreements, proper international agreements under systems of law with other groups, like what we, you're doing in, in the Americas, then that is, is, is law that in their system cannot be usurped. Yeah? Correct. Um, so, uh, yeah. I, do, I do have the first part of that. I have the Lenape both in uh, Algonquin and in English, the ceremony. It, uh, it takes about eight hours to uh, – uh, it takes about 14 hours, but eight, we have a short version of eight hours. Wonderful. Well, just, just for the benefit of others um, that are on the call and listening now or will be listening to the, to the audio later, what, what we're talking okay. about is, is, is uh, the five worlds, yeah? Yes, yes. This, will, this is the first. This is just the one nation, in it, and it's the last world. Um, it's, it's the world we live in now. The, they don't have, we're going to have to go to, in order to get the rest of their history, we have to go to um parts of india and also into new zealand because of that's where they come from originally yep 
So, you know, and that's, that'll be the connection once things are got down there because it will it will connect and tell about the people which left. Well, so. what, I'd love to, what I'd love to do, and we'll do this off the call because we won't have time now, but what I'd love to do is... Um, <laughs> is follow up with you and, and give you a call because I mentioned again to Darwin Bourne this new section on positive law, um, Article 239, which, which says at all law, um, uh -huh. is, really, is really talking about the origin of the law when we talk about the first peoples when you and I have spoken about the Atlantans, yeah? Yes. When we talk about the... Because the at all is the first part of that, and the Antis is the mountains. So Atlantis is the atoll with the Antis mountains. So I want to talk to you about that law okay. and the original form. Yeah, good. Uh, well, you already have the set, set I said, uh, which yeah. is yeah. the Wampum Law. And, yes. Uh, yes. Okay, that, that, that's that part. Um, and I'm, I'm working basically to get compile and start it will be two, the two worlds that we've been here for, right? Okay, and uh, and part of the third, what we what we know of the third here, okay? When the Lemurians ruled, good. So, honor. Well, it's an honor. Thank you. It's a very exciting process, and uh -huh. and uh, hopefully, as you do this, we can encourage other groups and other indigenous leaders around the world to, to also come in and do their part in their part of the regions as well. So thank you. Talk to you okay. soon. Okay. Brother. Hola. Yeah. Bye. That's great. Look, this is, um, uh, you might have heard me speak about this before, but just, just again, just a bit of a context to what that was about. Uh, I've mentioned to you that as part of the healing, there are many, many great and good people around the world, particularly with indigenous connections around the world. And part of restoring the law isn't simply writing the canons, which is what you're seeing here. It's also that the history of cultures is reconnected to the land. Because when we talk about the, the early conversation tonight about the 666 ounces and all of that, that's all sorcery to curse people. That's all about splitting us. It's about dividing our spirit from our body, our mind from our spirit. It's about keeping us in parts. And the reason these black magicians have been in power for so long is because they did a good job at that. Now, how we end those curses, in part, is also encouraging indigenous groups like the Maori, Maori uh, what happens with the indigenous cultures in the Americas, what happens with the Moors in in uh, Africa, what happens with uh, uh, the indigenous in Australia, all around the world, when uh, what's happening with the Celts in terms of uh, Libra clan glass, when, when the indigenous cultures sing, when they sing their song lines, the spirit is returned to the earth. And that's what you were hearing, is that that is well on its way in the Americas and is happening. So it's very exciting. Okay, I see Ron is up, so I'm going to get Ron to speak, and then I'll answer some more questions. Here we get Ron. Ron, can you hear us? Hey, Frank. How are you going? Hey, good. Yeah, I see you learned how to unlock me this time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a slow learner. Oh, I think we had technical difficulties, yeah. and it wasn't you. Oh, well. Um. Hey, um, on the on the positive law, you were right. I I started all over, you know, instead of trying to compare all the the changes. So by next week, I'll have that uh, the complete new book done. Right. I'm actually half done now, but it it does take a while. Good. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I posted a uh, uh, a new revision for the IRS Form 709. And actually, there's there's no updates on that, in, personally, because well, you know, I sent off the forms, completed forms in uh, mid February, and the IRS is refusing to process them. I guess. Yeah. So, so I sent off a letter a week and a half ago, and they have it, and 
I'm asking them basically, what are you guys doing, you know? Yep. Why haven't you uh, processed this stuff? So that's a works in progress. Um, I think that's all the work that I've posted. Oh, of uh, of the um, your new book is up on U of U now, the cognitive law. Right. So people can go and get that. Um, but I've been I've been doing a lot of research on Planet X and LNN and Nibiru. Yep. Can I can I reveal what I've discovered? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, okay. a lot of people are very interested in that, yeah. Okay. I am not saying that this thing is coming. All I am saying is that what I have discovered points to that fact, okay? Mm -hmm. Unless I have a telescope and I can see it, then I cannot verify it, okay? So this is... This, what happened was I watched this YouTube video, and it was a 19 minutes of... a. Basically, it was just like big flashcards coming at us, right? And it was giving an, an ancient history of what has happened in the past and leading up to what is about to happen, either this year or next year. I don't know when, you know. Mm. But um, so I, I plucked out some, um, some, some key phrases, and I took those key phrases, and I figured out what they meant on the star charts. Okay, mm -hmm. so I took the the uh, JPL chart and I fast forwarded it to September the 30th, mm -hmm. and then I took those alignments and, and and made it a perfect overlay on a star chart. This is a, I guess it's a pretty expensive program, but I got it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so I. It, but the bottom line is that the sun is touching Virgo, okay, mm -hmm. on September 30th. So these are some of the key points that they made. The the media keeps telling us that Leonid Elenin, a Russian scientist, discovered this ice ball, right? Mm -hmm. Well, upon further review, Leonid means in Russian... Meteor coming from Leo. Mm -hmm. Elenin, spelt backwards, is nine ELE, or the ninth month. Mm -hmm. Of course, ELE in the movie Deep Impact means extinct level event. Mm -hmm. So then on 9 11 11, according to JPL's chart, Ellie is the closest to the sun, which is less than half AU. Mm -hmm. Then they talk about how Ellie, or planet X or Nibiru, started its journey, and it came out of Orion through Leo, eclipses to the sun at the top of Virgo's head, and then comes back around, goes between us and the sun, and then back out, right? Mm -hmm. Now here are some of the the key phrases, the comet will be directly sitting in the hand of Virgo's raised arm on 9-30-2011. And I'm going, what are they talking about, right? Huh. You put Ellie at 9-30, and you look in the southern sky, and you can look through Ellie to Virgo's extended or raised arm. It's a perfect alignment, okay? Mm -hmm. Then it says, it's Virgo holding the destroyer in her hand. Mm -hmm. That's another metaphor for looking through and seeing the backside of Virgo, okay? So then the real clincher is Carl Kaliman. He's a Mayan researcher mm -hmm. on the calendar, on the Mayan count calendar. And he has discovered a, a slight discrepancy, and he says the long count ends on October 28, 2011. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll tell you that. If, you, yep. if you advance JPL's trajectory chart up to October 28th, Ellie has already passed Earth, but Earth's 
is going into the asteroid uh, 